Cash deal. All in the group have incredible deals. These beautiful Chevy trucks. All tell them about. It. Right now at Paul Thickpin Chevrolet, we got our LT Crew Cow four wheel drives with eleven thousand dollars off to the end of the month. Eleven thousand dollars. That's huge. Eleven thousand dollars off. Woo wee, baby. These deals look good as a government check. And you know Paul Thickpin always has the biggest and best selection. Hey, and if your credit's a little ugly, don't worry. My finance manager's as strong as you wrote. With $11,000 off, y'all need to get in here today. Paul Thickpin is selling a cheap, cheap, cheap. And a finance manager that can get these banks to buy D, D, D. Come see Paul Thickpin Chevrolet in Vidalia or online at paulthickpinchevy.com. Chevy, find new roads. Y'all come on down and let's do some business. Because everybody else is. Restrictions apply. See dealer for details. Top Notch Lawn Care is here to serve you. Keep your lawn looking great this summer. Let us cut, edge, trim, and maintain your yard. If you're tired of working on that old lawnmower or spending your spare time cutting grass, sit back and relax. Call my daddy, Jerry Scarborough, at 912-271-3368. He's the best. Call me today for a free estimate, 912-271-3368. Stop creditor harassment today. Stop the worry of a pending repossession, garnishment, or foreclosure. Contact the Bankruptcy Group, Attorney R. Flake Cabinets, for an experienced assessment of your financial situation. They have locations in Brunswick, Hazelhurst, and now Jessup. They are a debt relief agency. They help people file for bankruptcy relief. Contact legal assistant Tanya Blanton at 912-375-5620. 375-5620 to set up your free consultation. Let the Bankruptcy Group do the worrying for you. Now serving Jessup. Local news on WIFO. It's time now for a look latest in local news. In the news, Wayne County Superior Court's in session this week. On Monday, one jury selected to hear a criminal case that's set to get underway this Wednesday morning at 9 a.m. in front of Superior Court Judge Stephen Scarlett, who's presiding on the bench this week. It's the case of the state of George versus John Houston Fisher. He's charged with one kind of aggra- aggravated battery one kind of aggravated assault, one kind of making a false statement, and one kind of cruelty to a child in the third degree. Charges stem from incidents that occurred on November 29th of 2016. The victim in the case is David Kersey. In the indictment, it states that Fisher committed an assault on David Kersey with a water hose with a metal spot, and Kersey was hit in the head, injuring him and depriving him of use of an eye as he allegedly beat him with the water hose with the metal spot. Cruelty to the child charged stems from Kersey's daughter being present and witnessing the incident daughter under the age of 18. Fisher is represented by Public Defender's Office, Attorney Meredith Yoon, representing him in the case. Motion by the defense to not allow photographs of the injuries will be heard before the case outside the presence of the jury on Wednesday morning. Assistant DA John B. John says the state was not made aware of such a motion until Monday, so the parties will be at 8.50 on Wednesday, have the motions hearing before the case begins on Wednesday at 9 a.m. Second jury was about to be selected, but in the middle of the selection process, the defendant, Millard Sharp, opted to plead guilty to the charges and have a pre-sentence investigation be conducted, and Judge Scarlett will sentence him on August 16th. Sharp pled guilty to one count of home invasion, count 6 through 9, aggravated assault, and count 10, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. Counts 2 through 5, false imprisonment, were dropped by the state. Sharp entered his plea of guilty with no plea offer on the table. It will be the discretion of the judge to hand down sentencing once the pre-sentence investigation is concluded. He could be sentenced anywhere from probation to life in prison. Charges stem from the 17th day of October 2016 when Sharp entered a residence with both a knife and firearm, threatened to rob several victims who were all in the same residence. Once again, Miller Sharp pleads guilty to the charges and will be sentenced on August 16th by Judge Stephen Scarlett after a pre-sentence investigation is conducted. Judge Scarlett also set to hear the restitution case this Wednesday involving the Board of Education and Jody and Sharon Grooms. That's set for Wednesday afternoon. Tentative time set for 3 p.m. Wednesday at the Wayne County Courthouse. The BIFO family will be in court Wednesday for the case versus John Houston Fisher and for the Grooms restitution hearing. And we'll continue to report on the criminal cases at the Wayne County Courthouse. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages. So please stay tuned. Communication is the key when it comes to business, especially your financial business. That's why Altamaha Federal Credit Union makes communication a priority, making banking easier for you. AFCU has money to lend, and it's easy to apply online or with a quick phone call. Your local credit union with open lines of communication. Altamaha Federal Credit Union. Jessup, Scriven, and Ludowisi. 
Visit altamaha.org. Equal housing lender, federally insured by NCUA. For your grocery needs, shop Wayne County's favorite supermarket, Piggly Wiggly and Jessup. Check out these specials of the pig. Fresh lean ground chuck, only $2.38 a pound. Quarter loin pork chops, $1.48 a pound. Fresh chicken leg quarters, a low $0.38 cents a pound. Boneless skinless chicken breast, just $1.98 a pound. And center cut pork chops, only $1.98 a pound. Other specials at Piggly Wiggly, russet potatoes, the big 10-pound bag, just $2.98. Coca-Cola soft drinks, all flavors, get four 12-packs for only $12. Gala apples, $1.39 a pound. Crisp green cabbage, 38 cents a pound. Red potatoes, the five pound bag, $2.99. And boneless ribeye steaks, sell priced at $5.98 a pound. Low prices, the best service. Piglet Wiggly, 440 West Cherry Street in Jessup, open seven days a week from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Did you have an appliance unexpectedly break down? Not in the budget? No credit? No problem. Stop by your local Sears hometown store today and lease a brand new appliance from our best brand selection of Whirlpool, Maytag, LG, Samsung, KitchenAid, and more. Not only does your Sears hometown store in Jessup offer leasing on brand new products, it's also at a low monthly price that fits your budget. So visit your Sears hometown store in Jessup today, 977 South 1st Street, for great leasing on new products. Agent income requirements apply. See store for details. You won't believe what Paul Thickpin Chevrolet in Vidalia is doing now. Paul, tell them. Right now at Paul Thickpin Chevrolet, we got our LT Crew Cow four-wheel drives with $11,000 off to the end of the month. Come see Paul Thickpin Chevrolet in Vidalia or online at paulthickpinchevy.com. Oh, wee baby. These deals look good as a company. Check. Chevy, find new roads. Y'all come on down and let's do some biz. As everybody else is. Restrictions apply. See dealer for details. Other news, Baxley Police being assisted by the U.S. Marshal Service searching for those two suspects who attacked a restaurant owner and her 15-year-old daughter last Thursday over a food order. Video of the attack has played on national newscasts across the country. At this time, the video has nearly 2 million views on Facebook. Police say the search for the couple extends beyond southeast Georgia. Also, $2,000 rewards have been offered for their arrest. The money raised by citizens in Appling County. The couple has been identified as Eric and Latasha Smith. They state they live in Savannah. They're still at large at this time. The assault occurred at Baxley's Quick Chick Stand. The female owner and her 15-year-old daughter assaulted after the couple stated they were upset about their food order. Wayne County Board of Education set to be today at 6 p.m. at the Tech Center for their monthly board meeting. At the meeting today, the fiscal year 2018 budget, the big item, expected to be approved by the board. Once again, the floor will be open for public comment, as it was at the work session, which no one appeared to discuss the proposed budget. Also on the agenda, surplus property will be discussed, along with the May financial report. Also, an executive session to discuss personnel in that today at the Tech Center at 6 p.m. Have a report for you tomorrow here on the local news. The search for new county administrator is now officially open. As the job was posted Monday, the application process will run 30 days. As the county seeks a new administrator to replace Luther Smart, will be stepping down and retiring once the new administrator has been chosen. Once the application process concludes near the end of July, the interview process will begin. Luther Smart made his announcement in a letter dated to the commission back on June 6th. And the job for county administrator posted officially Monday will be advertised for the next 30 days. Governor Nathan Deal on hand and pull every Monday for the groundbreaking ceremony for the new GBI Crime Lab facility, which will be operational by early 2019. Once the Crime Lab is completed, the Rape Crisis Center of the Coastal Empire hopes that handling rape kits is on top of its to-do list. Thousands of kits in Georgia sitting left untested recently, 300 of those in Chatham County. GBI says the new crime lab and pooler should help alleviate the problem, move rape cases quicker to court, and bring justice to its victims. Governor Deal signed the 2018 budget with funds set aside for the new crime lab in the city of Pooler, which donated the 4.9 acres of land. The lab will be located on the road Isaac LaRoche Drive off Pooler Parkway between Pooler Fire Station 2 and the YMCA. We'll come back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor, other commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Communication is the key when it comes to business, especially your financial business. That's why Altamaha Federal Credit Union makes communication a priority, making banking easier for you. AFCU has money to lend, and it's easy to apply online or with a quick phone call. Your local credit union with open lines of communication. Altamaha Federal Credit Union. Jessup, Scriven, and Ludowisi. Visit altamaha.org. Equal housing lender, federally insured by NCUA. Hospitals, places where healing happens. They foster health and represent hope. 
From providing treatment and comfort to the sick, to welcoming new life into the world, hospitals are mainstays in healthy, optimistic communities. Being technologically savvy and having equipment rivaling that of large hospitals, Wayne Memorial offers cutting-edge procedures with world-class personalized care. Such care is provided by a team consisting of specialists driving in from larger hospital systems as well as our local physicians we've come to know so well. Healthcare delivered locally saves a patient time, money, and the hassle of traveling out of town. We are here 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You have a choice in your health care, and we thank you for choosing us every day. Wayne Memorial Hospital, caring for the community. Check out these June specials at Harris Ace Hardware. Master-built electric smoker, sale price at $129.99 with Ace Rewards card. DeWalt bit sets and saw blades on sale for $9.99 and also Craftsman tools for $9.99 and $2.99. Other specials at Harris Ace, Jacobson golf carts are $1,000 off MSRP for the month of June only. Don't forget Harris Ace has gift cards for that special man in your life. Shop Wayne County's favorite hardware store, Harris Ace Hardware today, located on West Cherry Street in Jessup. It's a new and better way to buy. It's live market pricing at Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC on East Cherry Street. We constantly monitor auto websites to offer the most aggressive market prices. The low market price is our live market price. That's why we're the home of the no-hassle deal. Save time, save money, and know for sure that Neesmith's live market prices are the lowest possible price that we can offer. Neesmith Chevrolet. Chevy, find new roads. The City of Scriven invites you to their annual 4th of July celebration this Saturday at the Grace Community Park. Events begin at 6 p.m. Fireworks start at 9.30. Presentation of the colors by the Wayne County Sheriff's Department Honor Guard will take place at 7.15. A special thanks to Wayne Memorial Hospital for its continued financial support and also to the Wayne County Board of Tourism. Bring the family to Scriven this Saturday for the 4th of July celebration and fireworks. Events begin at 6 p.m. Fireworks set to golf at 9.30. Final notes and news. Plans are finalized for City of Scrivens July 4th celebration. Again, it's going to take place this Saturday, July 1st. Fireworks show is set to get underway that evening at 9.30 p.m. The activities and the events open at 6. The observance will officially begin at 7.15 with the presentation of the colors by the Wayne County Sheriff's Department's Honor Guard. Fireworks again set for 9.30 on Saturday. Those in attendance are reminded the park is closed to spectators during the fireworks show. Park must be cleared before the fireworks can begin. School will be open to traffic only from the Grace Street entrance. They ask you to please bring a lawn chair or blanket to watch from the school. Patriotic Middle and Music will accompany the fireworks, so plan to be close enough to, to the park to enjoy that. Vendors will have food, drinks, Italian ice, boiled peanuts, funnel cakes, glow necklaces, John Deere items, and more. City of Scriven wants to thank Wayne Moore Hospital for its continued financial support of the fireworks for Scriven, Wayne County, and all of South Georgia. Special thank you also to the volunteers of the Scriven Volunteer Fire Department for their work. Wayne County Board of Tourism supports the event and the fireworks show and their help is appreciated as well. Again, be sure to note the fireworks Independence Day celebrations this Saturday, July 1st in the city of Scriven. Again, one of the best fireworks show and it'll be the topic for our Thursday, Butch and Bob show as those in charge of the fireworks will be on hand to talk all about the activities this weekend in Scriven. Long County Health Department sponsoring a back to school clinic for students who need immunizations and vision, hearing, dental and nutrition screenings. It's going to take place on Tuesday, July 25th from 8.30 to 6 p.m. at the Long County Health Department, located at 584 North Macon Street in Ludawissi. Long County Health Department wants to help parents beat the back-to-school rush by holding a clinic that is focused on providing the screenings and immunizations that students need before starting school. Students entering at Georgia School for the first time, no matter what the grade level, must have a completed cert certificate of vision, hearing, dental, and nutrition screening forms. Again, first time means never enrolled in a Georgia school before at any time in their lives. In addition, children born on or after January 1 of 2002 who are attending 7th grade and new entrance into Georgia schools in, eight, in grades 8 through 12 must have received one dose of TDAP vaccine and one dose of another vaccine. Again, students will be seen on a first-come, first-served basis. No appointments necessary. Any additional information, call the Long County Health Department at 545-2107. Can this Immunization screening day is set for Tuesday, July 25th, 8.30 to 6 p.m. at the Long County Health Department. Again, if you need more information, call the Health Department at 545-2107. Finally, in the news, don't forget Wayne Memorial Hospital 
offering a childbirth class on Saturday, July 15th from 9 to 1 in the hospital's annex building located at the corner of Peachtree Street and Colonial Way in Jessup. Class is ideal for those expectant mothers 25 weeks pregnant or later by the class date. Those interested in registering can do so by calling 912-530-3117 or 912-530-3118. Topics of class will include the normal process of pregnancy, labor and delivery, with an emphasis on conscious prepared childbirth, stress is placed on a medically safe delivery in the hospital under the direction of a doctor. Additional topics covered are infant care and infant feeding. Those attending are encouraged to invite a support person to the class. Once again, the class set for Saturday, July 15th from 9 to 1. If you need more information, again, call 530-3117 or 530-3118. And that's going to do it for latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan saying have a great day. You've been listening to local news on WIFO. Advanced Healthcare Center on South First Street in Jessup is your one-stop health shop for most all your health care needs. 